Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Persona 5 Royal. I'm doing a quick intro because I'm so, my god, the game loaded faster than I was expecting. Anyway, we're just gonna get right into it. Goodbye! original reality, right? I believe so, yes. The meta map is gone. And we don't even have a way to check it. At any rate, there's no point in worrying about it here. We should work all of this out somewhere else. You're right. Now that I think about it, we've been out all night too. So let's go to LeBlanc. Hmm? Samire, let's go! Oh, right! Mm -hmm. I'm home. You didn't tell me you'd be out all night. You should have at least gotten in touch with me about it. I'm sorry, Sojiro. We're the ones who kept her out so late. We should be apologizing for her. And we're all back so early in the morning. We're awfully sorry. Stop apologizing so much. Being worried isn't exactly on my list of favorite activities. But I assume you had a good reason for it, right? Um, have you seen him at all lately? Uh, him? What are you bringing him up for? You know what his deal is right now, Sojiro? Well, yeah. He's been locked up since last year. Locked up? What's going on? What are you guys talking about? Well, I was gonna ask you that, but now I'm getting a strange feeling that I've been seeing him until fairly recently. Anyways, why don't you all take a seat before I go over his situation? So he's in juvenile detention. Well, I need to stock up on a few supplies before I open up shop. Feel free to hang out here while I'm out. Thank you. So, this is our original reality, right? Or are we in another different one now? You know, these unexpected changes could actually be the end results of our actions in our own reality. Remember how he was originally planning on turning himself into the police? Then Akechi-kun did it for him instead. But that took place in Dr. Maruki's reality. Which means he's currently... So everything that would have happened if it weren't for Dr. Maruki... Now it's actually happened? You know, what y'all are saying is starting to make sense. But in that case, in the real reality... Uh, I, I mean... The reality we're in right now. What happened with Morgana and Akechi? Don't say it. Just like with my mom. No Morganas. Did someone say my name? This again! Recycle gags suck! Why do you always have to get us all worried like that? How are you here? Looks like it really was just the metaverse me who disappeared. Eventually I woke up in Shibuya. Getting all the way back here took some time. Come on, don't scare us like that. Oh, uh, but wait, does that mean Akechi's... What is it, Mona-chan? Well, about him. No, I can't believe Akechi-san's really... What the hell? So he was fighting that hard, knowing he was gonna disappear the whole time. So he's incarcerated, and... Akechi is... I thought I'd braced myself for the decision we made, but... This truly is a harsh reality. We all decided to live our real lives and look to the future from here. But even so... I... I just can't accept Senpai being stuck behind bars. Why don't we try to help him somehow? Nice. I'm impressed with the idea. Yeah. We won't put up with this injustice. But, what can we do to actually help him get out of there? I remember Sis telling me a while ago, in order to overturn a sentence, 
You need definitive evidence that proves the subject's innocence. So what you're saying is we just gotta find that evidence, right? Then we're on the case. There's no time for us to waste. We're going to show off what the Phantom Thieves are capable of. One last time. That's right. Let's go. We're going to save our leader no matter what it takes. Yeah. <laughs> So this episode is literally just going to be basically cutscene after cutscene. Really? Now that we know the name, all we need is an address. You're right. We'll succeed if we all do it together. Sis has yet to say anything, but I believe she's looking into possible actions as well. As for me, I will look into every viable solution. Thanks. Make sure you give my regards to Shiho-san. Could we try getting their help as well? I'm sure they would gladly cooperate. That would be a great help. I'll leave that to you. Mm -hmm. We'll talk again tomorrow. Let's save him. No matter what. I'll announce his name as the key figure in the completion of the medicine at the next conference. I've heard that Miwa-chan's progress is going well. Indeed, that's true, but... I'm certain that this will help prove his good character in the trials. Please, I want to increase his chances of being found innocent as much as possible. I see, so that's why. You'll cooperate too, right? And so we need to release an official opinion from this school to object his arrest to the police. You'll all agree with me, correct? What good are teachers if they don't believe in their students? enough signatures I, I want to help a friend who's innocent he's a really good guy he always fights for the sake of others he's he's my best friend so basically the reason why we were able to come to our senses is because he saved us and now he's in a crisis himself. I believe it's our turn to save him this time. But our words alone won't reach anyone. That's why I need Yokota-san and everyone's help. Won't you please protest the police with me? Please! A certain young man is faced with a dilemma due to the unjust oppression by the government. He is suffering from a crime he did not commit. He is a promising young man who will support this country's future. What justice is there in a country without it being able to save such an individual? This cannot be allowed. doesn't belong in juvenile detention at all. I swear I'll make up for the mispractice. Please, let me take just a short break. Uh, coach? No deal. But... I've got a few connections up my own sleeve that'll probably be more useful than simply doing your own legwork. I'll also try calling around to check if any of my other trainees have some useful info. But if I do this for you, it means you're continuing practice as scheduled. Got it? I'm sure it's what he'd want for you, too. Thank you so much, Coach. You escaped the prison of the heart only to be imprisoned in reality. What a most ironic outcome. 
Your wish for others' happiness prevailed over your own. However, I feel as though all is finally well. In the end, you willingly chose the correct path. Most importantly, you never compromised your values for your own well-being. The final arcana you have acquired is the world. It is the power for an individual to stand on their own two feet, swayed by none. That power shall fuel the hope shared amongst your friends and yourself to strive towards a better future. With the world, you are no longer without a place to belong and will never trudge a path alone again. My own duties end here as well. You were truly a remarkable guest. Long time no see. We met last on Christmas Eve, right? Uh, never mind, it, it's nothing. I have two great pieces of news for you today. First, we finally managed to prosecute Masayo Shishido. He'll likely be found guilty. I'm grateful for your cooperation with the trial. Your testimony proved to be very useful. To be frank, it seemed almost hopeless at one point. But thanks to the civil protests, some of the more indecisive prosecutors came to our side. It will likely be some more time until the hearing begins, but this is the first step to true change. The only charges right now are for breaking election laws, breaking funding control laws, and bribery. I knew that proving the metaverse's existence would be difficult, but I still find myself dissatisfied. Shido did admit to all of his crimes, though, including everything you know about. Now for the other piece of good news. As of today, you'll be free to go. That's right. Shido's confession brought light to the truth of your case. We were able to prove your innocence in the original assault charge that led to your arrest. Your sentence will no doubt be rescinded. You're a free man. The others did everything they could for you. Bringing in the woman who was the victim in your case as a witness was the turning point. To think they'd be able to track down someone involved in a case from well over a year ago. That wasn't all. An unbelievable amount of support has come in from various other places as well. Regardless, the righteous phantom thieves are gone. All that remains is for us adults to lead society in the right direction. Then again, I have to wonder if you believe what I say. Thank you. Still, I'm glad I was able to save you in court. I've never felt so happy in my entire life. I'm not quite sure how to put it, but saving your future meant more to me than my own career. I feel like you even taught me how to live. <laughs> that's not true. By the way, there's something that's been on my mind. What did the treasure of my world turn out to be? <laughs> and that's perfectly fine. This isn't an investigation, after all. I suppose it doesn't matter now one way or the other. There is... one more thing. I haven't even told Makoto about this, but I realized something after meeting all of you. My most prized treasure is the justice I use to protect those important to me. Makoto helped show me that as well. Once the Shido case is settled, 
I'm thinking of quitting my job and becoming a defense lawyer. I wanted to reform the system, but I'll have to leave that to someone else. Going forward, I want to enact justice not for myself, but for the sake of others. <laughs> well then, I need to go submit the paperwork for your release. Thank you again for everything you've done. See you later. I didn't really want to come, but Futaba just wouldn't stop bugging me. Anyway, you're a free man now, aren't you? <laughs> and it looked bad on me if you did something again under my watch. <laughs> All right, let's go home. It's cold, so get in quick. Spread delays have impacted the various lines and another accident, huh? <laughs> Reminds me of that day back in April. Remember when we went to introduce you at the school? It's almost been a whole year since then. <laughs> Thinking back, that was pretty awful for you. Throwing you in that storage room all by yourself. And again, soon you're gonna be made some great friends here. You better thank them when we get back, all right? It's been a while. Not bad. You look fine. I'm glad you seem well. And the best for last, me. So we meet again. It's good to see you. All right, so let's grab a table. I gotta head out and grab some groceries. I'm sure you guys have plenty to talk about. Now we're only missing one last person. She texted me a little while ago that she's finished with practice and heading here. I'm guessing she'll be here any minute now. Sorry I'm late. Senpai. Um, welcome back. All right, that's everyone. Come on, Samire, take a seat. Man, it went well, yeah? I'm so glad we didn't give up. This was certainly worth the effort. We didn't know what to do once you were gone. But then we realized something. Even if we don't have the metaverse or any other special powers, we can still change reality. If we didn't do that at the very least, we'd be betraying the entire reason we stood up to Maruki. We'll oppose the injustices of this reality with our own strength. That's what we all agreed upon. Ever since then, we've been doing just that. Busting our asses, trying to get you out of the clink. Not just us. Everyone who believed in you joined us. Thanks to that, we got our leader back. <laughs> right back at ya. They treated you fine, right? Actually, did you lose some weight? It would be understandable. I've heard the food in prison is quite foul. So, uh, what did you eat? Was it bugs? Fermented mackerel? Or maybe durian? You're missing the point. Eh, you're gonna get some good food soon enough, though. Boss is out getting stuff for a party right now. Come on, everyone's back together. It's time to celebrate! <laughs> I guess you really were hungry. Oh, and that wasn't you? Sorry about that. Oh. It was Sumire. 
Sojiro will be back soon. Just hang in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry for not minding my business. But we heard from Boss. You're going back home next month? Can't you stay here? Sure, we proved you're not guilty, but people are still gonna label you there, aren't they? Ain't it just gonna be uncomfortable going back? What's the matter? We were all so excited a moment ago. How about this? If our leader is leaving, the Phantom Thieves are truly disbanding, correct? Today, we can celebrate his release and commemorate the day of our disbandment. <laughs> what kind of commemoration is that? <laughs> I was serious when I said it. It sounds like a good idea to me. I guess you're right. We just gotta double our excitement for today. About that, there's something I need to tell you guys. I've decided to go with him when he leaves. He's pretty special after all. Plus, we need someone there in case he turns back into a delinquent. Really? Either way, I want you guys to add my farewell party to the one we're having tonight. I don't know. Is that important? You're not leaving for another month, right? It is far too early for a farewell party. That'll just muddy the purpose of this celebration. Oh, how dare you! Sumire, at least you're on my side, right? Uh, me? Then... Let's say we call this a second round welcoming party. That's the ticket, my re-welcoming party. Nobody can complain about that. So, for the food at my party, I demand sushi! Sushi! Man, you guys are loud. I can hear you from outside. Chief, they're so mean. <sighs> Noisy as always. Hey, I'm not some normal cat! I can't understand what you're saying to me, you know. Here, here. No! I would much rather have sushi than something like... <clears throat> this is delicious! <laughs> what an assertive little guy. I wonder where he got that from. <laughs> That's just part and parcel of who I am. The one, the only, Morgana. Stop trying to talk so big. You're just a cat now. Shut up! I don't need to hear that from some dumb ape. What was that? It's things like that. You get angry so fast. Oh, and you're vulgar. You will? Why don't you go disappear again? Uh, shut up! We're supposed to be celebrating, not fighting. They're at it again. You guys never change, do you? Seriously, that weirdo Inari. Who are you calling a weirdo? Don't worry. Being weird is just a sign of your individuality. Uh, you don't need to defend him about that. <laughs> well, anyways, we're all here now. Let's kick this party off! Very well. Sojiro, I want sushi! Oh my god, I can speak finally? But seriously. It's just been constant. Good god. So actually, uh, let me just think about this for one tiny second here. Um, let me just not think about this, but say this. Uh, 
with the creation of Persona 5 Royal, Strikers was basically became non-canon stuff, right? So, if they wanted to, they probably could make, like, a new version of Strikers with characters like Samire and make, like, a new story with it as, like, a... Hey! Oh, you know what? They could totally do that with, like, a perform uh... A, bleh, 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 bleh. a Persona 5 Arena. Oh, <laughs> dude, I would love that! Oh, that would be so awesome. A Persona 5 Arena with... Could you imagine, like, how kind of P4 AU is? Persona 4 Arena Ultimax? Just Persona 5 Arena just has... I mean, at that point, why even call it Persona 5 Arena? Just call it Persona Arena. Well, I guess you could you should call it Persona 5 Arena since the Phantom Thieves would probably be the main center of attraction for that game. But I would love to see the Phantom Thieves interact with uh, the investigation team in the seas. That would be awesome to see. And plus, I would like I would love to see the, the Phantom Thieves in a fighting game. Anyway! But yeah, this is this is basically just epilogue stuff at this point. We're kind of we're going to be kind of railroaded for the rest of this. Oh, hi. Right. Today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young. Oh, boy. Good evening. Sorry to barge in like this. Oh, uh, you should have just told me. Here, I'll leave the store to you. Enjoy yourselves. Seems quite considerate. Welcome home, once again. I can imagine. But let me say one thing. I'm scared out of my mind, you know? It was like you disappeared. And after that, I find out... You turned yourself in? I forgive you, but you need to stop shouldering all the burdens on your own, okay? I want to support you. Especially when you're hurting. We can get through our problems together. Sorry. I didn't mean to turn this into a lecture. That's not why I came here, anyway. Chocolate. For you. I'm afraid it's not homemade, but... That's nice, but you'll have to actually eat it eventually, okay? We came back, right? We're in the real world this time? I've been studying hard. I'm looking to apply to law school. My dream of becoming a police commissioner remains the same. Um, can I sit next to you? You're going back next month, right? Of course. But our relationship can survive a little distance, right? Can I? Tell you something? When I was a phantom thief, I was driven by one goal. To help those who were unjustly suffering. And that hasn't changed, of course. That goal still keeps me going. But now, I have something else, too. Now, I have someone I want to be happy. I want to stand beside them. Not as a 
phantom thief, but as myself. Someone very special. Sorry to bother you this early in the morning. I was wondering if you'd like this. There's no obligation, of course. You've helped me through a lot. I wanted to express my appreciation. Sorry for how this is coming off. I didn't mean for it to seem like I'm just dumping my leftovers on you. I'm the one who should be thanking you, so thank you. Well, look at this hot shot. Lucky guy having a gorgeous lady drop by this early just to give you treats. I hope you don't mind that I stopped by today. No doubt you already got some from someone special. I should really be going anyway. Sorry to impose. And this is hardly the end of my debt, of course. Chocolate isn't going to cover all you've done for me. See you around. We usually don't run into each other here, huh? Oh, yeah. This is for you. I was going to give it to you at school, but as long as we're both here, have some chocolate. You know, for Valentine's Day. Have friends. Close friends. I'll be counting on you. I didn't mean to ambush you like this, but this is yours, if you want it. It's chocolate, a token of my appreciation and respect. Well, when I put it like that, it sounds a bit too intense. Oh, please, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal at all. I just wanted to show you I really appreciate you putting up with me, and I hope that doesn't change. Here. Oh, well, I don't mean I've been watching you. I just read your fortune. Now that that's cleared up, please take this. It's to celebrate your freedom and to say thanks for everything you do. If you ever need my power again, all you have to do is ask. I'll always be happy to help you. Welcome back. I wasn't sure I'd even see you, but I guess this is good timing. Here, take this. Figured you deserved a little appreciation. <laughs> Who knows? Don't get your hopes up. Sounds like you've been through a lot. It's kind of a relief to see you're the same as ever. Remember, I'm pretty close by if you ever come down with something. Call whenever you need to. See you later, then. I know it's sudden, but could you watch the store? I gotta head out for a bit. Think you can keep an eye on things? Were you working? Sorry to distract you. I thought I'd stop by on the way home from work. Partly so I could give you this. You've done so much for me, after all. I wanted to say thanks. Oh, and I didn't get to say it at work, but welcome back. I'm glad you're safe. Oh, right. 
I whipped up a little study guide for the classwork you missed. It should cover most of the important stuff. If you're still having trouble with any of it, you can always ask me, okay? I'm your teacher. That's my job. Anyway, I'll see you at school. I've literally been sitting here for I don't know how long. The game's playing itself at this point. <laughs> I'm just doing nothing. I also love how it jumps an entire month almost. Like Jesus. You sure you want me hanging around? Uh, I can step out for a bit if you like. No, I'd prefer you stick around. Everyone I owe something to has got to hear this. I'm thinking about moving away. I'm moving? It's just, a hell of a lot's happened this past year, you know? It's got me thinking about the future, and how I still want to get back on the track team. That's why I want to move closer to a physical rehab facility, get my knee fixed up while going to school. At the earliest, all this is going to kick off starting next month. I see. That is quite sudden. Hmm. Oh? Actually, I've got some news too. I'm in the middle of looking into studying abroad. Just short term. I've been wondering what would be the smartest move for my career, so... You're moving too. Both Haru and I are looking for places to live on our own. Starting next month. In fact, our moves will probably occur around the same time as Ryuji's. I plan to keep learning about the business while also attending college. And that's why Mako-chan and I were talking about how we won't be able to get together like we used to. Are you gonna tell them too? Um, so... I passed the entrance exam. I'm gonna be a high schooler starting in April. First high school, then college. Then I can finally research cognitive science for real. Even you, Futaba? No, I apologize. I should be wishing you all the best of luck. Nah, you do have a point. We are going our separate ways. Oh, you mean the bonds we all have? <laughs> That's a great point. It seems you're all taking great strides forward. I, however, will not be going anywhere until I've completed my current painting. No matter how many years it takes, I will express this feeling that's grown within me since we first banded together. That's still some kind of stride though, ain't it? No matter what we may go through, or how many times we may stumble, we'll follow the path we believe in. That's what the Phantom Thieves are all about. Stop trying to be such a cool cat. I am not a cat! Yeah, I guess I am. There's still no way I'm accepting Doc's reality, but... If it weren't for going through that, I don't know if I would have felt this way now. It's like following through with what I want to do in life. I guess I learned how to really believe in my future. In that case, wouldn't you say Sumire learned the same thing? I mean, she is at training camp right now. Indeed. While her viewpoint may differ from the Phantom Thieves' beliefs, there's still much we can learn from her. Oh, that reminds me. Sumire left something with me. She told me she forgot to give us this the other day. Is that a newspaper clipping? Guess it was lying on the ground when we got out of Dr. Maruki's palace. This article! It's the case about Dr. Maruki's loved one. The one whose family was murdered. I'd be willing to bet this is Doc's treasure. So her case was the origin of Maruki's distortion. Would you hold on to this? We've all got to keep living with our eyes focused on our dreams. Otherwise, Dr. Maruki's gonna give us all kinds of shit. 
You're absolutely right. <laughs> well, I'm very impressed. You've all become quite mature. So let me throw you a little celebration in honor of the next chapters of your lives. Order whatever you'd like on me. Thank you. Oh yeah, it's all you can eat and drink, people. Uh, uh, huh? Boss, thank you for the generosity. Uh, that wasn't what I said. Could you at least go easy on me? Everybody <laughs> Alrighty then. So we have about. I don't know if we'll be done this episode, but. Oh yeah. Are you ready for tomorrow? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> White day. That's tomorrow, right? You got some chocolates on Valentine's Day, didn't you? And White Day's when you return the favor. The men do the gifting. What's your plan? You've at least got some kind of present ready, right? together kid sometimes I don't know if you're fearless or just plain careless fine listen up and I'll give you the recipe for the ultimate day Whoa. the chief has an ultimate date plan I better listen in too just in case first off you're gonna need a gift this won't work without one can't go wrong with flowers just make sure you buy them before the date you gotta present them near the end Surprise her, so you can't let her see you buying them on the date. Got it? Huh. Gotta give them flowers, huh? I gotta take notes. Next, think about where you're taking her. You gotta want somewhere with the right atmosphere, but it's gotta be peaceful. Oh, how about that new aquarium exhibit in Shinagawa? Just saw a commercial for it. Might be a good spot, right? The aquarium's a good place for a date. I see. Now, once the date part's over, we gotta take her out to dinner. Somewhere nice, too. It's kinda last minute to make reservations. All the fancy places get booked pretty fast around White Bay. Okay, right. Too late to make any reservations. Oh, wait! What?! So once you're at dinner, you get to talking, enjoying yourselves, and that's when you give it to her. Good. You were paying attention. It's the perfect time to surprise her. That ought to do it. Just follow the plan and you're safe. Ah, this plan is foolproof. Leave it to the chief. Well, I taught you my secrets. The rest is on you. Do you prep and make those reservations? Good luck. On that note, I'm going home. Now it's up to you. You should start prepping right away. Don't waste the chief's advice, all right? Let's see. 
The reservation comes first. You remember that restaurant Chief told you about? Thank you for calling, sir. Were you looking to make a reservation? I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid we're fully booked for tomorrow. White day is crazy, huh? But don't worry. All you have to do is mention the Chief. Sir, if you could just hold for one moment. Thank you for your patience. You wanted a dinner course for two on the 14th. We will have a table ready for you. Dang, the chief has serious clout. Could I ask your name and contact information? Okay, your dinner plans are locked in. Now you just gotta get the flowers, and then it's off to the aquarium and dinner. It's gonna be busy tomorrow, so we better get rest while we can. Today's the day. Let's go get those flowers. I like how it makes you think you're gonna have a gameplay section and then rips it away from- Hey, no, wait, a little bit of gameplay! Yeah, here we go! Where am I? I'm lost. Uh... Flowers. Oh, what brings you here today? I need flowers. I see. Okay, leave it to me. That should do it. I tried to keep it as simple as possible. Okay, that comes out to... Hold on, let me cover this one. You've been taking care of me yourself, so I need to express appreciation for you, too. Morkana, where are you keeping the money? Good luck. I'm rooting for you! Don't worry, I'm a gentleman who knows his manners. I won't be tagging along. Alright, good luck out there. Uh. Huh? Um, okay. Thank God you said something. I was getting kind of worried. Today's, well, you know. Okay, let me get changed and I'll meet you there. I've been to aquariums before, but they never seemed quite as magical as this. That was a long time ago, though. My father took me here once when I was in grade school. My sister would have gone, but I think she stayed home that day. Too busy studying for some exam. <laughs> hey, is this in return for Valentine's Day? You did. Thank you. Hey, are you hungry? I think we've seen everything here. We could go get some dinner if you want. What? Really? Well, now you've got my hopes up. I guess we'd better get going. This restaurant really is lovely. You don't say. Sounds like you've got some friends in high places then. If you're trying to be unbelievably smooth, it's working. Especially earlier when you went to the staff to get our reservation. You were so composed. That was the most adult I've ever seen you. <laughs> Sorry, I need to step out for a moment. Sorry about that. Ladies 
and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this special day. We wish you all an unforgettable evening, with one last finishing touch from us. What's going on? Unreal, like something that only ever happens on TV. But now that it's happening to me, I I don't know what to think. I'm just so happy. Is it because I don't have experience in these things? Would I know what to say if I dated someone before? today out to the smallest detail, huh? Thank you. Really. Now that I think of it, this is just like you. Whenever you go to this much trouble, it's always for someone else's sake. I need to start following your example. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, um, hey, do you have to be anywhere after this? If not, um, we should spend some more time together. Wait, I, I don't mean to come off as clingy or anything. Ugh, it's all this romance in the air. I don't know how to deal with it. So, if it's just for one evening, we can lean into it. Right? Hey, finally taking off tomorrow. Sojiro said you don't have to help out here today. Go and see your friends before you leave. Off you go then. Try not to cry! <laughs> Alrighty then, so it does look like we're gonna be uh, finishing up today's episode, or finishing up Persona 5 this episode. Maybe. I think so. I think we'll have... Yeah, I have time. Hey. You look like you're doing well. I decided to stop by after work. I used to come by this area on occasion. I was always a fan of LeBlanc's coffee. It's tomorrow, right? The day you go home? We're talking about the mastermind behind the world-renowned Phantom Thieves. Give me some credit. On the record, you've been cleared of all the crimes you were accused of. Unfortunately, the stigmas that came with them are a little harder to simply wipe away. You might find that even now, Sometimes it'll feel like the whole world's against you. So, just in case, take this. Whenever you need help, I'll be on your side. Remember that. I'll be doing my part to bring some real justice to our legal system. Can't rely on the Phantom Thieves forever. Right, so we kind of have to just go around and talk to each of the different confidants that we have, I believe. I think that's just what the game wants us to do. Oh, hey, you're going home tomorrow, right? Then let me give you an update. 
So, about Miwa-chan. Her symptoms started fading pretty soon after administering the new medicine. Yeah, I'm relieved too. And it's all thanks to you. Thank you for supporting me through it all. Same goes for the situation with Oyamata. You did everything you could to help me with it. I don't know where all that devotion comes from. Maybe I should take a cue from you. Here, I want you to have this. You saved Miwa-chan. It's only fair that you get to meet her someday. <laughs> Keep your health in check. I want you there to welcome us with a smile, okay? Alrighty then. Yeah, we have to. We we've got a few places to go to. It appears. Uh. Oh, it's not gonna tell me anything. Awesome. So I guess I'm just gonna have to find my way around. You're heading home tomorrow, I hear. It'll be a new start. Got my blessing, whatever that's worth. I recall the days when you helped me out with my speeches here. We'll be treading separate paths, but as long as we share a common purpose, I'm sure I'll see you again. If I've earned the support of an upright young man like you, well, that must surely be my greatest achievement. You expect farewells to be so sad, but here we are beaming. From now on, your life is your own to live. Now, I suppose I'd better send you off with a parting gift. It's an incredibly expensive fountain pen I bought back when I'd strayed from the right path. Embarrassingly enough, I hardly used it. I hope you'll put it to better use than I did. Whatever new chapters you write with that pen, I'll be watching for them. But is it still? Whatever new chapter. Okay, that's a little odd. Don't know why it's staying like that. Don't exactly know where everyone is. I'm just gonna. Kind of run around and hope I find people. There's someone all the way down here. Yusuke? Oh, that's right. You'll be departing tomorrow. It's sad to see this as a season of farewells, but I didn't expect we'd all go our separate ways. <laughs> that's putting it mildly. This time last year, I never. Do you remember the painting I submitted to that competition? Desire and hope it was. Well, I would like to bestow it upon you as a parting gift. As of now, my canvas is still blank. It's not for lack of inspiration. There's so much I want to express that I can barely contain my passion. But my heart has not led me astray yet. I'll paint as it guides me. Even should I scar my work with doubt, hesitation, chaos. Certainly, that's a beauty all its own. Your life is no worse for its own scars. Your truest beauty lies in them. All right. So that's Yusuke. Uh... I think it's down this way is the underground mall, I want to say. Nope, not at all. Hold on. No, hold on. There's something... <sighs> Central Street. So that should be, this would be Ryuji, I think? <sighs> In the arcade. Yo, 
Man, spring break is supposed to be the most fun part of the year, but instead you're just moving away. Then again, so am I. I guess this is probably the last time we'll be meeting up here. Don't even have to ask. I was already going to do that. Spring break is going to be boring as hell anyway. Wait a sec. Your own town isn't near the countryside, is it? I was just thinking it'd be great to run a train somewhere out where it's all big, naturey open space. Honestly, even with the rehab, I don't know if my leg's ever gonna be how it was before. But when I think about how much I want to run, well, I figure there's no point lying to myself. Nothing's guaranteed. I don't know if I'm gonna get anywhere, but well, you could say that for any goal, right? I don't want to live stuck on regrets or shame. I, I'd rather just run and keep on running. And hey, you better practice too. See, if we share our times, we can even compete from far away. Going to school without you guys. I don't know. I can't imagine. It's nice feeling like I got a future worth looking forward to for once, though. That's all thanks to you, man. All right, on to the next one. This will be on. Did you come here for souvenirs? This place has everything. I'm busy getting ready for my study abroad, too. We've gotta research schools, places to live. But we're all splitting off to do our own thing, huh? Honestly, it's not really hitting me yet. Yeah, totally. It's not like we're all leaving forever. I mean, we still have the group chat. I'll still be messaging you all. And you gotta respond! By the way, um... A little girl stopped me the other day in Shibuya. She said she saw me in magazines. And said she wants to be just like me when she grows up. It felt incredible. Oh, right. Vague did a special piece on me in this month's issue. I said it all in the interview, but... I'm gonna work hard. One day, I'll be modeling across the world. I've gotta reach people. I wanna give someone hope, like you did for me. Thank you for all you've done. The days I spent with you were some of the brightest in my life. Once I'm a star, I'm gonna shine even brighter though. So you watch out for me. Okay. So that's everyone here in Shibuya. Let's leave that for last. as the card said you came to visit me in your current state you should be fine but please be sure to relax once you're home or to make up for all the hard work you did here I've been receiving encouragement from my clients lately even though I should be the one encouraging them strange isn't it but that's the truest form of fortune telling there is. Mutually encouraging each other to find happiness in a world full of tangled, painful fates. The kind of comfort I've always hoped to provide in my readings. Here, this card represents your future. Please, take it as a good luck charm. 
white fortune card represents happiness to come, but it's an omen of doom when reversed. But I know you'll carry on with the same conviction you've always had. You are that's how you manage to bring joy to any fate. So? I'm sure we'll meet again. Though, that's not based on any augury. Just a personal wish. Alright. Did she say she would be at the platform of the school gate? I don't remember. change how I define myself. So I want you to have this. It helped me learn to love studying. One day, I'll be a police commissioner. I know it won't be easy, but I also know I will never give up. By giving this to you, I want to prove that. And... I hope it'll comfort you when I can't be there myself. It doesn't matter if we're far apart. Our hearts will be as close as ever. And that'll help me keep fighting. Uh, is there anything else? Someone by the front of the school gate. Probably Kawakami. Called it. I think that's our last one. Oh. What a coincidence. I'm about to give a lecture. Did you come to see the campus? You're going back home tomorrow, right? Make sure you keep up your studies there, okay? Of course. And let me know if there's anything you need. This is the last time we'll see each other for a while. You can at least look a little sad about it. I'm kidding. Honestly, seeing you so happy gives me peace of mind. Now that you're heading out into the world, I've got a present for you. It sounds like the setup to a joke. A student bumps into his teacher in a full French maid outfit. But somehow, that opened up all kinds of new paths in my life. I can make up for all the times I've distanced myself from my students. I'll help anyone who needs it. The point is, I'll put in the work. I learned a lot from you, and I won't let that go to waste. That's everyone right oh no we still have akihabara there's someone in akihabara i don't know who it is but there's someone here oh machina oh so you're finally heading home tomorrow huh my documentary Oops. script is going well though it's not really close to done but it's coming along Actually writing it. But when I need one, 
I'll definitely be consulting the ex Phantom Thieves themselves. Makes me wonder how many people I can reach with my work. It's exciting, but kind of scary, too. It might be a bestseller, or it might just fade into obscurity. But I want to put my hope into this. It's a message from the old me to everyone in the world. So, even if I'm scared of failing, I'll face this head on. Just like you did with that first calling card. Oh yeah, it's still a pretty early draft, but... It'd mean a lot if you could read it sometime. I could really use your feedback. You probably had tons of crazy fights I don't even know about, right? So, we should sit down and talk about them sometime. The more of it I get on record, the better. I'll make sure the story of the Phantom Thieves goes down in history. Well, that's everyone. Uh, I don't know what the game wants me to do. Maybe I'm supposed to go back to LeBlanc. Make sure I do my best. So, you go do your best too. Thank you for everything. Hey, got everything? took you in. I thought I was the one helping you. But it turns out it was the other way around. Take care. Don't be so cheeky. Oh, sorry. I wanted to have Futaba see you off, too. I haven't been able to find her since this morning, though. Same with that cat. If you end up back in the city, come on by. I'll at least treat you to a nice cup of coffee. Wait, that means I can't go closing this door, huh? What are you doing? Hurry up and go. Yeah.
After we said we disband. We are all on break after all. No more entrance exams. I can drive you to the station. You really, really gotta go? Oh, shit. They've even followed us here? What should we do? Need a hand? Hmm? Dr. Maruki? You're suggesting we split up? Should we? <laughs> Here we go! Come get us! <laughs> Shall we then? There's no charge. If you find yourself struggling in life, you can start over, like me. Remember that. So yeah, if that ends up saving you, then we're square. just wouldn't give up wish it went smoother but hmm? i guess this is it be sure to eat well <laughs> we'll see you soon right if you don't come back we'll find you there hmm? all right it's mm -hmm. time yeah Aww, gotta go already we don't make the train schedule see you later my dude <laughs> i'll text you okay come on sit down taught me to keep my head up, didn't you? <laughs> told you I was coming with you. Oof. Oh. <laughs> Take care.